Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jared. <laughs> I'm Charles, and this is a great video for those suffering from the clap. So I better listen up. <laughs> well, math wash may cure you of that nastiness. Yeah? Uh, apparently, according to these articles. Well, we're gonna tell you how right here on IO. So the clap, also known as gonorrhea, is a sexually transmitted disease that affects both men and women. More specifically, it can cause infection in the genitals, rectum or throat according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's official website. Most commonly found in those aged 15 to 24. Wait, I'm 22. Anyway, the disease is transmitted through vaginal, anal, or oral sex, and if a pregnant woman gives birth well infected, she could potentially give the disease to the newborn as well. Now the good news here is that the clap can be cured with some prescription drugs given to you by your doc. But studies have come out that Listerine might actually be able to cure you of this disease. Well, if your throat is the affected area, that is. Studies haven't tested it on people's anuses or urethra, and I don't recommend you try it just yet, either. I mean, unless you're into that, in which case, yo, have the freshest anus on the block. Now you may wonder how Listerine can cure this STD. Eric Chow, a lead study author and his team of scientists at the Melbourne Sexual Health Center in Australia, conducted a study involving 58 gay or bisexual men who tested positive for gonorrhea in their throats. These men were asked to gargle the liquid given to them for a minute. They were either given 20 milliliters of normal Listerine or some salt water. 20 minutes after gargling, the 58 men were re-swabbed and it was determined the men who gargled with Listerine had a much lower proportion of the disease on their throat than the men who gargled with salt water. On top of that, the researchers also mentioned the Listerine users had an 80% lower chance of testing positive for the disease compared to those who gargled with salt water. But here's where things get a little sketchy. Scientists couldn't determine exactly how long the results last and how long one would need to gargle with Listerine to prevent future infections. And on top of all that, this test was only conducted on men. So there's no definitive answer on how a woman would react to the mouthwash wash if they're infected by the disease. But hopefully we can discover more answers through more research. Research. And that's what Dr. Chow and the team are doing. Reports say Chow and Co. will be conducting another test on 500 men over a longer period of time using different Listerine products and other mouthwash products to find out which ones are really the most effective. And I don't see why the results will be much different with a woman compared to that of a man, but I'm no doctor. This is still pretty cool to know. I mean, Listerine actually claimed their product can cure the clap back in 1879, but no one bought it. Now, over 100 years later, they're the ones laughing. Reports also made sure to include that Listerine didn't fund or sponsor this trial. Right, and we're not paid to say subscribe, like, and share these videos with all your friends because YouTube is the greatest website in the world and they will create world peace. Anyways, we want to know if you no, have- No, we don't. Stop, Charles. We're going to be answering some comments now. In the video we did about Netflix getting hacked, Rainbow Cake AJ said, OMG, Jared, your beard is scaring me. <laughs> As you can see, sometimes my beard, you know, it just takes over. It's but aggressive. I've been trying to line it up. I've been trying to take care of it as much as I can. I don't try hard shampoo enough. it in the shower yet, because it's not long enough, but I use face wash. We're gonna eat beard soap next Christmas. Next Christmas? Yeah. Next up, Juan Tinajero. Soon, I will get hacked. So you leave that comment, and I was just like, well, hack away, bro. Like, there's there's nothing to see here. I was gonna say, like, I'd rather you not hack us, but maybe I would, because, like, if, if we make it a story that, like, a big YouTube channel got hacked. Yeah. Maybe, like, Scarce will write about us, maybe they get us more views. Like, it's all about hey the guys, views. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Scarce. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? It's Scarce. So, like, this crazy this YouTube channel, they got, like, almost a million subscribers. No, they call me Inform Overload. They just got hacked. Like, it's totally crazy. Like,. <laughs> I guess like no one's safe, like not even me, like I don't know. Please don't hack this one. Yeah, and it's scary if you're watching this again, it's not hate, it's love, bro. And I'm not like it's I love you. I love you more than Zoe Burger loves you. Ethan Lynn said, if you're reading this, have a nice day. Thank you, Ethan. Cheers. Have a great day. Cheers, buddy. Happy you holidays. too. You enjoy your life. Next up, Jareed Bronstein said, rumor has it, the real hacker was the legend 27. Now I don't know who this legend 27 is. That's the legend 27. Yo, have you tried to play Game of War yet? Yeah, I keep dying. There's this is one player that keeps kicking the legend 27. Well, hold on. It's funny you say that because this next person, the legend 27, said, "Did you hear that the legend 27 can hack a whole Netflix with one hand?" I heard that. So maybe it was the legend 27. And we want to know if you guys have ever heard or seen the legend 27. And I also heard. I heard the legend 27 cure gonorrhea. No way. Yeah. I actually the legend 27 hacked the presidential election, which is why Hillary lost. So on that note, <laughs> happy holidays, guys, from everyone at IO. Happy and healthy New Year. We'll see you guys soon, and just be aware. The Legend 27 is out there. <sighs> Don't leave me hanging. The Legend 27.